Hello everyone, this is a story whispered, coming to say hello to you on this Saturday evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be like all the others and ask for you to like, comment, subscribe. The main way channels like mine survive these days, so thank you very much for considering that. And either way, I hope you enjoy today's role play. A uh, little bit of a different one. Um, I enjoyed this. So, uh, however you're doing, I hope you sleep well. And I'll catch you again next week. You're in a fishbowl. A fishbowl in prison. I love fishies. Look, look, look. How doth the little crocodile improve his shining tail? Oh, I'm not the best with faces. They're so stretchy. But I'm getting the feeling that you do not want to be in this fishbowl. You want open fields. Stack of warm blankets, maybe some apple pie with, with whipped cream on top. You want to do your job as a deity. Shh, I know the guards are coming. Let me take care of it. Hello, Mr. Grumpy Wizard Prison Guard. Why the long face? Are you bored of your job? Oh, don't pull your gun on me. That's not even a gun. It's a fish flopping around in your hand. So hard to hold on to. You might as well not even try. <laughs> oh, you with the thinning hairline. I know you fantasize about skydiving. What if you were on a plane? Your parachute strapped to your back floor trembling under your feet as you climb higher and higher into the sky. See this door right in front of you? You could pull it open. You could pull it open and leap right out and watch the world. <gasps> yeah, that door is hard to open. Here. I'll help you. <gasps> but you're falling and falling and falling. The air rushes past you. The clouds vanish as you try to grab onto them and... <gasps> oh. <clears throat> you're saying I shouldn't kill him? Fine. Your parachute opens at the last second. And now, my friend, we run! <clears throat> so where's your divine realm? It probably still exists, since you do. Although, does anything really exist? Or do we all just think we exist, and we're making up a story that we tell ourselves together? I think you exist. You're holding my hand, and it's warm. Nice to meet you, fellow deity. I'm Chaos. You can also call me Serendipity, Butterfly Effect, or Alanis Morissette's Isn't It Ironic. That song isn't actually about irony, of course, but it's catchy, right? Mm -hmm. You look like shit. Almost like a mortal. Oof. Maybe we slow down on the running thing. I think we're far enough away from the wards so I can teleport us away. We could end up at the heart of a dying star. Or the front row of a rock concert. But it's better than a god hunter's prison, right? Do you trust me? I have no idea what I'm doing.
<laughs> on three. One, two. Oh. No, it's one, two, and then we go on three. It's not one, two, three, go. It's like saying rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You do it on shoot. Anyway, here we are. A nice, isolated field in the mortal world where you can listen to the sounds of nature and take a nap. Where are we exactly? It's a place in a country, in a time zone, in a hemisphere, on a planet. Are you some kind of god of geography? Oh, that was an owl. I think it's so strange how they only have two eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh, good question. Why did I rescue you? First off, that prison was a clusterfuck of rules and order. Trying to analyze gods, study their powers. Stuff like that makes the ends of my hair itch. And you seem lonely. Maybe once you're stronger, we can go back for the others. Now, what did you say you were a deity of again? No wonder they wanted you. So, you need to get back to your worshippers. You have worshippers. Organized ones. Ugh, sounds like work. I go where my whims take me. Sometimes I'll answer people. People who put fun chemicals in their brains. Stray animals little kids. Sometimes when people are flipping a coin, I make it stand on the edge. Or I make a rainbow while it's still raining. And I like making new flavors of bubblegum. But sometimes it's not gum anymore, and then I make bowls and boxes out of it and bury them. It's fun too. Way more fun than being cooped up in some temple. But if you want to get home, I understand. Lots of people take comfort from things being the same day after day. Moonshine after sunrise. Anyway, I know technically that you don't need to sleep. Benefit of immortality and all that. We're not producing the same brain toxins. We don't have the same blood. It's just a wet, gushy, abstract concept. But still, you could use some rest. Maybe lie down and close your eyes. Sure, it's important that we storm the prison and break out the rest of our brethren. But that can wait a few... Oh, what's it called? Hours. That's a pretty word. Like a bell. Hour. Hour. A few of those. And then we can work on re-manifesting your regalia. Summoning anyone else who can help. All that. Just not right now. The owls are singing their hunger. And the sky looks like it's on fire. All lit up red and lavender. You can borrow my cloak. Mm, the wind is enough for me any day. Curl yourself up like a happy little snail. Your mind doesn't need you to do things, and neither does your body. Wake me when the owls stop watching over us. I'm going to glare at the future until it notices me looking and asks what I want. I know. Oh, I know. I know. That place sucked. Not just how boring and grey and blah it was. How the windows were all glued shut. 
They were goldfish they'd won at a carnival but didn't even want. And no one could stop them from shaking the bag. Like you were a broken toaster and maybe they thumped you hard enough. Boom! You'd pop out bread. From now on, you're under my cloak. It's an invisible cloak. You can't see it because your mind runs on logic. But it's made of summer and starlight, and improbable chances that turn out just right. One in a million strokes of luck, like perfectly flipped fried eggs. If any of those bad guys come from the prison for you, stun guns and scrubs, I'll pull my cloak over you so you vanish like a needle in a needle stack. Then I'll reach into the invisible part of them and tease out a string of what they want more than anything in the world. And I'll snap it. And their hearts will shatter. And they'll be safe. A needle in a haystack. What kind of saying is that? It's too weird even for me. I know it hurts. Your bouncy ball made out of glass wrapped in cellophane. You'd been tossed off a building. Like you couldn't even wiggle your toes without someone else's permission. But I promise I won't let anyone cage you ever again. That's good. Close your eyes and let your consciousness puff out a little. Try to find as many strands of your power as I can and tie them back to you. There's a bit. There's another little bit. Oh, you'll be back at full godly strength before you know it. All you have to do is run.